Just imagine for a moment that you are a tourist visiting America for the first time. You land at, say, JFK in New York, or LAX, or O'Hare in Chicago, or San Francisco, or Philadelphia. What do you see when you take your Uber into town? You see a third world country. The homeless camped out in filthy tent cities. You're on your guard against violent criminals. And everywhere there are drugs, whether it's the smell of marijuana or the fentanyl addict nodding out on the sidewalk. And then, oh, you watch the news. And what do you see? A former president indicted, indicted by a Trump-hating district attorney, stretching and bending the law to get a political opponent. Again, this is third world stuff. That's what happens in authoritarian countries. Arrest a former leader to keep him or her out of power forever. That is what's happening here. Think it through, please. If there's a trial, it will likely take place just as the primaries and debates get started. Imagine that. Cameras not allowed in New York courts, but the Democrats would love to see Trump on TV in the dock. They'll ask the judge to OK primetime hearings. And if there is a trial, televised or not, Trump will get, will Trump get a fair hearing? Really? You, you really think he will? In a city that voted 85% against him? The whole thing is a deliberate distraction. The rabid Trump haters get their chance to rant, and the Democrats get to divert attention from Biden's chronic failures. The third world that tourists see when they come to this country is the result of Biden's policies. Instead of defending those failures, they want to run against an indicted Donald Trump. A president has been set. What a shame that we are taking our cue from some third world dictatorship.